Yo, what is up, everyone? My name is Dom, and we're here to talk about unusual options activity. All right, everyone. Uh, I gotta bring up the disclaimer first. So, uh, disclaimer: This video is for educational purposes only. Statements made in this program are solely the opinion of the show and are not a specific inducement to make an investment. One must perform their own due diligence to realize that all investors carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. All right, everyone. So, first one I want to bring up is Cybane Stillwater. Uh, now, this is a mining play. Uh, this is kind of a value play here. Value, I guess, but the stock has kind of run up quite a bit here. So, as you can see here, uh, for these April 16th 20 strike calls, there's about people who uh, people coming in and about 5,300 of these contracts uh, traded here. Open interest of about uh, 17,000 here. But, you know, if you take a look here, there's a whole not a lot of puts owned here relative to calls. Uh, I think calls definitely... Uh, uh, on the day, I think calls definitely out traded puts. Uh, I think two or three to one. And you know, I was not trying to jump into these April 16th calls. I'm a little more bullish on this stock. If I were to take a position in these April 16th calls, I'd, pr I'd probably maybe uh, buy this uh, 20 strike call here and then sell. Uh, the 22 and a half or maybe sell the 25 call against it so i do a vertical spread what we talked about in the last video uh, and that's just to help to uh, mitigate time decay and just you know shave off some of the risk there but i'm in these july 16th 20 strike calls as you can see here once again huge amount of open interest now you know we don't know if these people bought to open or uh, uh sold to open it uh, also known as shorting the options but you know just you know relative to to, to you know the open interest here in these puts and relative to the open interest in these calls here, you know, I would say people are definitely bullish on this stock. I am bullish on this stock. You know, if you take a look at the chart, this thing has had a huge run here. You know, pre-pandemic high was about 13, traded down to about three bucks, and you know, we're pretty much sitting at all-time highs here. You know, we're probably about a, a, a couple few dollars off the all-time, uh, off of the uh, year year-to-date high. You know, if we take a look at this maximum chart here, you know, this thing might have some serious technical resistance here up at this uh, 20 21 dollar level. You know, if you just trace, uh, you know, so right here we're at this uh, 20 90 level. You know, if you just trace this across here, you know, it looks like we already kind of hit that level right here with this candle. You know, that, that candle's high. It looks like it was about 20 40 and, you know, we immediately pulled back from that. So, you know, I think we're going to have some technical resistance here. It looks like uh, this 21 level is definitely uh, some, uh, uh, is, so it's definitely an all-time high. It might be some technical resistance there. So, you know, that's why I went out a little further with this one and, you know, went out to July. You know, still a pretty cheap option. I think it was like uh, 150 bucks to control 100 shares at the uh, 20 strike. Now, it's a little bit out of the money there. You know, the stock is about 18.20. I got the 20 strike. So, you know, that 20 strike puts my break even. Oops. Uh, yeah, so these are about 190. So that puts your break even at about 2190 about a dollar above that resistance uh, level so you know I think we could break out of there and, you know we're playing this one for some upside I went with the July calls because you know like what I said we might butt heads with that uh, 21 level but I think eventually we're gonna get through it so I wanted to give myself enough time for us to get through that you know just another tip as well you know when something has some uh, long-term technical resistance like this you know right when you're coming up when you're coming up back to this technical resistance it's really rare that you just break through it you at least come to it you know have have a little bit of a pullback you know in my experience that's what i've experienced so you know uh i wanted to give myself a little extra time with that one so uh next one i want to talk about is i cube now i'm not in these calls i think it's these april 1st people are coming in and buying these april 1st 30 and a half strike calls mind you the stock is at 20 it closed at 27.70 now this thing uh this is a uh, uh some people call this the china the uh netflix of china so it's like a uh, video streaming service i've owned this one in the past and you know these calls haven't uh worked out for me in the past uh when i've seen people buying it so you know i decided to take a back seat and maybe just watch this one or you know maybe wait a couple days and if we get a pullback maybe i'll get it but i are not own these calls yet but yeah there are some people coming in and getting these april 1st 30 and a half strike calls, 13,000 contracts trade, open interest of three. I think there is also uh, some more volume in some other uh, contracts, but yeah, I checked down in the time and sales. We can just do that real quick. Um, clear that. As you can see right here, yeah, someone is coming in and getting 
uh, almost 9,000 of these April 1st 30 and a half strike calls. They came in and got these for 50 cents. As you can see here, the bid at the time was 38 cents. The ask was 51 cents. They paid at the midpoint of the bid ask or above. So that means they paid closer to the ask. So that means therefore they bought the contracts. And because the open interest here is only three, because you can either, there's two ways to buy, uh, buy options. You can buy to open or you can buy to close. Now, since there's only three contracts that are uh, that are outstanding, that are in open interest, there's only three contracts out there that people own. You know, if someone's coming in and getting 8,000 of these contracts, you know, they're in the open interest is only three. Therefore, they had to buy to open these uh, eight, almost 9,000 contracts because you can't buy to close 9,000 contracts when there's only open interest of three. So, you know, just, tr just you know, trying to do a quick explanation there with that. Uh, you know, that's kind of a risk that we take, you know, when the order size is smaller than the open interest, you know, you can't really tell until the next day, you know, whether uh, it was a buy to open or a buy to close. But, you know, most of the orders that uh, I try to follow are buy to open and people are buying, buying to open these calls. So, you know, that, that might be a little confusing. Uh, just let me just uh, let me know down in the comments below. But that's definitely something that you have to understand when you're following this activity. Now, if we take a look at this. Uh, yeah. So, you know, this is this is kind of another one here. You know, this stock trade up to about 46, you know, I think back in 2018. And, you know, this thing is at some serious technical resistance here, you know, at this uh, 27 level. So, you know, I don't know if I feel comfortable getting into these calls. You know when it's at this amount of technical resistance here but you know the more times that also the technical resistance here is, is at about 27 uh, just call it 28 dollars we're right below 28 dollars but you know the more times this stock comes up here and bounces off this 27 28 level like here came up again there came close there came up there there and there so, you know, there's clearly some technical resistance here, but in my experience, the more times a stock comes up and fails and keeps coming up back up to that level, you know, there's more of a probability the next time that it comes up that it's going to get through. But, you know, I, this, this stock just kind of left a, a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I've traded this one before and uh, the trade didn't work out. So, you know, I might uh, stay on the sidelines for this one and just kind of watch. You know, it'd be fun to, you know, see it break out and, you know, hopefully those people make some money. So I just want to let you guys know that what that uh, there was a, that there was some buying in this IQ. So check that one out, everyone. All right, everyone. Thanks for everyone, thanks for everyone who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you got any questions. And we'll see you in the next one, everyone.